What is up, Pokemon Ninjas? Me and my girl Brea here are gonna open us a complete edition bundle. So there it is. We have opened it. Now let's see if we can get some decent pulls out of this box. Of course, got a nice Ellis Norn little poster there. Really cool packaging. I like this box. Definitely gonna keep it. I'm gonna store some stuff in it. Okay, my main thing I wanted out of this box were obviously lands, probably the same as everyone else. But the plus side is we get to open this bad boy. So hopefully we can get something good out of there. Uh, we're gonna start with the set boosters naturally. And maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get something good out of these as well. So we got a foil planes here, the rest, whisper, dross pits, dross pickle bomb. I'm I'm not slow rolling these because I don't want to get to that. Jorkadeen, nothing good there, and a Michael Synth Gardens, nice hollow rare. Put that there. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Try and make some decent piles, I suppose, and then the garbage. Hopefully we can get some decent pulls. I'm really looking for. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Nothing special, but decent. Fleshing, Terramorphic, Hex Gold, Chimera, Drown. I'm not really sure if there's any uncommons or anything. Tablet of Completion. Tablet of Completion. I'm not really sure if there's uh, any commons or uncommons that are really worth anything. I haven't really paid attention to that. But if I. I'll probably look everything up after the video. Got Necrogen, Rot Priest, Quicksilver Fisher, and a Tyvar Jubilant Brawler. Nice um, Planeswalker there, and a Foil to Rest. So, doubt he's got much value to him. I don't really think there's too many Planeswalkers that are of much value, unless it's like a big, you know, Jace or Chandra or something like that. Karn. Nahiri's, Tyvars, Rustifying, and Argentum Masticor. And then a Tainted Overseer. Flying Toxic. Oh, okay. Uh, that might be something. I, I I think that's a good commander card. Actually, that's a... Uh, is that a list pull? And that might be a list pull. Tiamat? That's a... Uh, we'll definitely uh, take that. I might have to go and sleeve that one up. We'll look up the prices on some of these cards, like I said, after the video. But that's good. Nice mythic list pool, it looks like. I don't know what set that is. Is that? I think that's the Dungeon and Dragons set. I could be wrong. But we'll look it up after the video and see what we got there. Archfiend of the Dross. Nice, nice pool there. Skrull's Hive. That might be something. And then a Terramorphic Expanse. We don't care about that. Yeah, yeah, I know my piles aren't exactly great, but, you know, who cares? Chaos is sometimes fun. Rule Grimnark, Testament, Cutthroat, Unctisses, Ribscaf, uh, Toxic Vehicle, Sinew, Sword of Fr Forge and Frontier. Uh, there's another Mythic Pool. That's nice. I don't know if that's going for much, but I'll definitely take that as a pull. That's one of the, that's the new sword that they made. I don't know if there's any other possible swords they can make, but I know that's the newest one that they've put into the TCG. Got Chisgoria Forge Tyrant. I'm guessing that's a commander card. That definitely looks like it would be. But got another mythic. And then a Ving Vind Vindictive Flame Stoker. Nice one drop. I don't know if that's really worth much. <coughs> Bless me. Make sure I sneeze all over my cards too. Got a Swamp. Shrapnel. 
crawling in my skin where it's gonna minor misstep that's probably actually worth a little bit so we'll set that aside be nice to get a foil one of those mirex silvok and an mr the storm cleaver just guy i don't think that's really worth much I could be wrong, but I don't remember seeing it anywhere. Hex Gold. So obviously we're uh, excited for Commander Masters. I definitely want to open some of that. We got a nice cough there. Meldweb Strider, and then nothing there. So we're definitely gonna try it. We're definitely gonna open some Commander Masters. Hopefully we can get some collector's packs. Hopefully, it's not super expensive. But yeah, I definitely uh, plan on doing some of that. That's another foil tainted over Observer. It's nice that you get 12 set boosters in this box. It gives you a good chance to pull some of your value back. And I paid 120 for this box. So, definitely a little over the value of what it is for now. But, you know, gotta have it, right? But hopefully we can get some of our value back. It won't feel like it stings as much. Nice foil uh, island there. I like that one. I bet the cardboard makes the value taste terrible. Right, Joey Moss? Hit the like button if you watch any Joey Moss videos. I like watching his videos are pretty funny. Conduit of Worlds, Maze, Skull Bomb, and then whatever that thing is. We'll go ahead and put all this. We'll, we'll separate everything later. But for you OCD people out there, we'll make sure we keep everything in clean, plain sight. Just so it ticks you a little bit. All right, at least we separate the rares for you. All right, so let's do the lands. I don't think they really matter. But I'll at least go through them and see what we have. Get a foil of everything, you know, plains, 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 island, swamp, a mountain, and then a forest. Okay, cool. All foil lands, nothing crazy there. Then you get your Phyrex, uh, Phyrexian, Phyrexian Arena. That makes sense it's a really nice version of it i like that probably just keep that for myself and then you get the phyrexian lands now, these look a lot better than the regular foil lands so these probably are going to hold a little value i imagine because these look so much better like the foiling looks good they even kind of look like they got some kind of like sparkle to them but yeah these are nice i really like these lands I wish, I wish all the full art lands had that kind of uh, quality to them. And then, of course, if you're all here waiting for this, uh, we're actually not going to open this today. Uh, so thanks for watching the video. Uh, hit the like button. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to open it, obviously. You can't wait. That would be such a tease, though, if I made you all wait for that. Now, this is why we're here. These are definitely some of the best full art lands they've made in a while. So we get two of each. Let's kind of, I, I think these are all about $5 a piece. So you definitely get some value out of these lands alone. These swamps, I, these are my favorite right here. Nice forest. Okay, we get our mountain. After this mountain, so we get, we get two of the complete uh, oil slick cards. So obviously we want to pull Elsh Norn, uh, of Warren Clicks, anything crazy like that. But let's see if we can get us a nice. Okay, we got a Mythic. I don't know what that is though. All okay, so it's all will be one. All right. Nice Mythic pull though. And then, can we get? We want her. We want that right there. Can we get? Okay, it's a Mythic. Oh, it's a Planeswalker though. What Planeswalker is this? Jace the Perfected Mind. I don't know if that's worth much, but I mean, we got a we're gonna complete oil slick uh, planeswalker, so we'll take it. 
It's not the Ellis Norn we were looking for, but I'm sure there could have been some worse pulls than that. So I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve these. I'll just sleeve them all off camera, but there's our pulls. Once again, I'll do a little uh, pricing. I'll edit this video and I'll price everything. See if we can get our value back. I paid 120, so we gotta try and get that back. So thanks for watching. Hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. And thanks for watching. Pokemon Ninja out.